Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. This one is for those who have updated to iOS um, 14 and of course you are having severe battery drainage issues, meaning your battery is draining abnormally fast. And of course, after updating to any new or major updates, battery drains are a common problem. Alright, so if you're having the problem with a battery drain, I'm going to suggest some things that might be able to help you. Remember, um, of course, that for everybody it's different when using um, their device, meaning some people are heavy users, some are medium users, and some are, of course, barely use their devices in your talk. So, of course, your experience will vary, but you should know your battery percentage. Sometimes after doing a major OS update, you might see, some people might see better battery usage, some might see worse. So, of course, this one is for those with worse or degrading battery usage as a result of iOS um, 14. So I'm going to suggest several things you can try. Now, one of the easiest things to try if you're having the issue is to go ahead, guys, and power off your device. Now, it sounds simple, but of course, after a major update, it's a good idea to slide and power off your device. I'm not going to do this. Um, I'm not going to do this right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close out. And of course, I'll do this also. All right. So after rebooting, guys, your device should start back up. And of course, go ahead and see if you're still noticing severe battery drainage. Now, if your battery is falling still um, after this um, update or so on, go ahead, guys. And what you're going to do now is you're going to go to the App Store. Once you're in the App Store as seen here, you're going to check for the latest update. So go over to search, tap on your um, user icon right here. And of course, you're going to search for updates right here. You should see anything that needs updating. Go ahead and tap every one that shows an update and you're going to update all your apps. Sometimes a buggy app can actually run in the background. And of course, it doesn't close properly when it should. It's not behaving right and it's draining power in the background. All right. Another thing that you can do to also track down the specific app that's causing the problem is to go to um, <laughs> is to go to settings. And once you're in settings, you're going to go down and you go to battery. And as you see here, you can get your battery health as usual up there. But of course, you can look here to see which um, battery apps are draining, are draining your battery. And of course, if you check here, you should have a good idea as to the general overall activity of an app. If there is an app here that you're not using a lot of, it could indicate that that's the particular app that needs updating. If you can't update the app, if it's not too critical, what you can do, guys, is you can go ahead and, um, of course, uninstall the app. So let's say, um, yeah, always the problem. You can long press and, of course, you can remove the app. And, of course, go ahead and you can hit remove and you'll use the option that says delete app. All right, I'm going to do that right now. So once you delete the app, if it's an app that you can lose, it should, or in some cases, it might stop the battery drain or the severe battery drain. All right. Later on, if there's an update, you can install it back or install the update. If all else fails, guys, another thing that you can do or a thing that I've found that works is you can go to um, settings as usual. Once you're in settings, check for software updates. Maybe it's a device-wide battery bug and updating once you update, there should be a fix. Look for general, go to software update and check for updates. So if there's a bug update, you should get it. So it's also a good idea to check for updates in those cases. If that also fails, guys, another option would be to do a backup. And what you're going to do is a reset. Sometimes after doing um, a full on update that basically layers another update on a previous version. So let's say you're on iOS 13 and then you update it to iOS um, 14 or a bigger jump, you might find out that there are bugs. So what you can do guys is go in here, you're going to scroll all the way down, go to reset after backing up your device, you're going to go to erase all content and settings. All right. So in other words, you're going to wipe your device totally clean. So you're going to get it, set it up again. You're going to set it up again just as the day you bought it. And what should happen is that by wiping the device clean and starting over, in some cases, you can fix the bugs. Um, so, of course, go ahead after um, resetting. Do not restore anything and simply use the device. See if the battery life has improved. Then you can slowly um, restore your um, 
all settings. But of course, test before restoring. Sometimes after restoring, depending on, depending on how you re, um, restore your device, you might find out that um, based on the restore method that you use, it might return the bug. So just be careful with that. So of course, I've outlined several ways, of course, already that you can um, stop um, severe battery drain after upgrading to iOS 14 and you're seeing that your battery is um, depleting very fast. Also guys, um, remember to um, get rid of all outdated apps. As I said, if they have memory leaks and they haven't had um, updates in a long time, they might just be the one that's causing the problem. So rule nothing out, be um, thorough in your audit. And of course, if you do all of these things, you should be able to fix the issue where you're having severe battery drain. Um, if you have any direct questions or tips, you can place them below in the comments. As always, guys, Ricardo Gardner with just a quick tip showing you how to fix battery drain issues when doing a major iOS update, especially to iOS 14. It's Ricardo Gardner saying bye until next time. Bye, guys.